Hi, I'm Abhishek and welcome to my channel R Tutorials where I share the R programming related tutorials with you and uh, to get all of these tutorials directly in your inbox you can subscribe to my channel. Also if you want uh, to learn related to the ClickView business and discovery tool then you can go to my another channel which is data and tools and learn about the ClickView business discovery tool. Alright, so let's go for the topic for today, which is using the tally function. So tally is a deep layer function, as you can see it over here, and it is help us doing the count or summing of values efficiently. So let me take an example of uh, empty cards data set. So what I will do is I will just say head of empty cards, and what it is giving us is the some variables which is mpg miles per gallon cylinder uh, related to these models that we are seeing on the right left side all right so what we want to do is uh, we want to take or we want to count the number of models by each cylinder that we have in the data set all right if you are if you are following my videos then one of the ways you will do it is by using the summarize function which I have uh, explained it earlier so how we would do it is basically first of all you need to import the library which is dplyr. art since I have already imported so I'm not doing going to do that again and then I will going to use empty cars percentage okay, so that's a pipe operator I have already done a topic on that previously so if you have not seen it I will suggest that you go ahead and view it so pipe operator and then we have uh, group by so we want to group by cylinder cyl and then again we want to summarize and we want to summarize it by the count that we have so we will say model underscore count is equals to n all right so that's basically the count that we have 4, 6, 8, 11, 7, 14. That means for 4 cylinder we have 11 models. For 6 cylinder cars we have 7 models. For 8 cylinder cars we have 14 models. Well, you can also sort it. So if I go back and uh, try to do it, arrange and uh, sort it by the model count, I can specify that and now it is sorted in ascending order if i want to do it in descending order i will just specify in the previous command desc and it will be in descending order so right now as you can see it's a big command where we are spe first specifying the data set then we are doing a group by then we are summarizing the value and then we are sorting the value how about if we are just stopping it here and doing all the summarizing and sorting within just one uh, one uh, or this part of the the command or this part of the uh, parameter of this entire function so for that we use the tally function so let me go back empty cars stage percentage group by cyl and then percentage the pipe and then say tally so once we do that as you can see such a small command as compared to the this one or the this one where we have 11 7 14 by these 4 6 8 so it's doing the same thing it's just that summarize is much more powerful you can use pretty much every function but the limitation of tally is that you can only count the value or sum the values but it will make your command look very efficient which basically you know give you a uh, kind of an advantage for being an advanced programmer and being aware of how you can efficiently write the code all right so maybe you will be uh, worrying about the sorting which we done it in the arrange function so what we can do is we can simply say sort is equals to true so once you do the sort it is in it, it's in descending order as you can see 14 11 7 and that's how you can very easily do the sorting as well so that's that's the function i wanted to cover in this video the tally function you can 
read more about it here about its different parameters x you can specify weight and then the sort that we have used by default it is false and then if you need to use it we can we can make it true so that's pretty much all in this video and i will meet you in the new video with a new topic